I'm here in Fort McClary in Kittery Point in Maine. And I'm going to be doing my next episode of Ben's Wall Adventure about bats. Now we've all heard of Batman and his nemesis Man Bat, and we've all heard of vampires like Dracula, but I'm going to talk to you about actual bats. There are lots of different kinds of bats in the entire world. In fact, bats actually make up a quarter of all mammal species. The largest bat in the world is the flying fox from Australia. Its wingspan is seven feet wide, it's two feet long and weighs four pounds. And the smallest bat in the world, which is also the smallest mammal in the world, is the bumblebee bat. It weighs less than a dime. As we all know, bats are nocturnal, and a lot of them live in caves, but they could live anywhere, like in abandoned places like this. This could be a perfect place for them to live, although if they're, because there's people around, they probably won't be here, and if they are here, they probably won't come out until night. And there's one cave called Bracken Cave down in the hill country of central Texas. Yeehaw. It's home to the largest concentration of bats in the world. 40 million Mexican free-tailed bats, and inside the cave, the bats are packed in at about 500 per square foot. That means the inside of the cave covers 80,000 square feet. And the cave itself is as long as seven Olympic sized swimming pools. So we're talking like an Olympic swimming pool is 50 meters, which is 150 feet. So we're talking 350 meters, which is 1,050 feet. And that's almost a sixth of a mile. But because of all the bats living inside the cave, um, the temperature is 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Without all the bats, the cave would be 20 degrees cooler, too cold to incubate the hairless pups, that's a baby bat. Also, because of all the guano that the bats produce on the floor, they've produced a lot of carbon dioxide and ammonia and very dense heat that could burn our lungs and could kill us if we went inside that cave. It's deadly to go inside that cave, that's why we have to wear masks. And the, the guano in that cave is really big. It's like as tall as the Statue of Liberty. Different types of bats eat different things. Some bats eat fruit, some bats eat frogs, and some bats eat insects. There's also some bats that will eat fish, and there's even some fish, like catfish, that eat bats. So from fishing bats to batting fish. And there's also some bats that will pollinate flowers, and there's even some bats that will even eat other bats. Those bats would probably be the most carnivorous of all bats, and therefore they would be cannibals too. And the vampire bat, of course, hence its name, drinks blood. Now, there's only three types of vampire bats, and you know how in some vampire stories, some vampires have big canine teeth, and some have big incisor teeth? Well, vampire bats have both. They have both big canine teeth and big incisor teeth. So imagine a vampire with an actual vampire with teeth like a vampire bat. Big canine teeth and big incisor teeth, both of them. And vampire bats can drink up to five teaspoons of blood a day. And it's been estimated that your average colony of 100 vampire bats could in one year drain all the blood out of 14,000 chickens. That's 140 chickens per vampire bat. And Vampire bats can also drink up to their own body weight in blood every day. That would be like Dracula drinking 200 pounds of blood. That's enough to fill a bathtub or 200 cans. The bat is the only mammal with true wings that actually flies. Of course, its wings are kind of like this. They're actually more like hands. They lost their arms and their fingers are elongated. You see, 
invertebrates, wing membranes have evolved at least three times. In birds, they've lost the fourth and fifth fingers, and these two fingers are fused together. In bats, these four fingers are all elongated. But in pterosaurs, the pinky is lost and the ring finger is elongated. And there are four different family groups of animals with true wings that actually fly. The first were the insects. The second were the pterosaurs. They were also the first vertebrates to fly. The third were the birds. And the fourth, and also the last, were the bats. And the way they walk on the ground, insects walk on six legs, birds walk on two legs, and bats and pterosaurs both walk on four legs. And of those four, only pterosaurs went extinct. A lot of people think bats are more closely related to rodents, like mice. But in fact, they actually have much more in common with primates than with rodents, because like primates, their wings have five fingers. And bats actually evolved from mammals that glide, similar to modern day gliding mammals like the flying squirrel, the sugar glider, and the kalugal. Some bats flap their wings up to 20 times a second. That's about this fast. Bats are misunderstood animals. People fear them and yet hardly understand them. One reason why is because bats live in dark places, like this place. Another is, a lot of people think that when bats fly past your head, it's trying to attack you, but here's what's really going on. When you're walking, your footsteps stir insects off the ground and the insects rise up into the air. The bats are after the insects, not us, and they won't get tangled up in their hair no matter how close they fly past their heads. You know, I've had some bats incidents. Once a bat flew in my sister's room. Another time a bat fell in her swimming pool. It was still alive, but we got it out and it flew away. And another thing, there are also cryptid bats, kind of like the Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot and the Abominable Snowman. In Madagascar, there's the Ahul. It's said to have a wingspan 12 feet wide and 4 feet long. And there's another called the Fangala Bolo. I think it lives in New Zealand. I could be wrong, but I think that might be it. It's believed to have a wingspan 10 feet wide, is 5 feet long and 4 feet tall. There are also so cave demons, so cave demons, which are believed to have wingspans 15 feet wide, are 5 feet tall, and are as big as humans, so we're talking like 200 pounds. Now, to end my show, here's a little quiz. True or false, bats are blind. Out of control and blind as a bat. You've got 10 seconds. Time's up. The correct answer is false. Some bats even have better eyesight than we do. Thanks again for watching. See you next time on Ben's Wild Adventure.